Mere gang, or no gang, if you a lame, you can't hang. What's good? What it do, you too? It's your boys, Amir, back with another video for y'all boys, man. Hey, man, this is a highly requested video right here, man. Basically, I'm just going to be showing you guys my build for NBA 2K21 Next Gen, you know what I'm saying? I've been going crazy on Next Gen, really enjoying it a lot. And uh, yeah, man, I'm just going to get straight to it, man. So I'm just going to show you guys my build right here, and then I'm going to show you guys how to make it, man. So as you can see, we have a scoring machine, and I'm a 98 overall right now. Got all of my badges and everything. So let's check out the build, man, you know what I'm saying? So off rip, it's a power four, bro. It's a 6'7", 210-pound scoring machine, and I do have double sharp takes on this. And yeah, man, as you can see, it gets a very high driving layup, a 98 driving dunk, 81 standing, a 93 midi, 87 three-point shot, 81 free throw, you know what I'm saying, 75 pass accuracy, 85 ball handle, 87 speed with ball. You know, the stats are just nice, bro. Like, this build can do everything, 98 perimeter, 96 block. 89 offensive 98 defensive all the physicals are good you get an 88 speed with an 84 acceleration a 94 vertical and a 94 stem and you can add a plus one to all of those because as you can see i'm only at 98 and i still get a plus one to everything at 99 so yeah man this build is going to have a 99 driving dunk a 99 perimeter defense a 99 rebound like this build is just an all-around beast where i can do everything on the floor get contacts finish out the room with the best of them can shoot from anywhere on the floor a midi three-pointer can make free throws can create for himself and i can create for my teammates you know what i'm saying i can speed boost do all of that i can defend every position on the perimeter and in the paint and the physicals are off the charts, man. I can do everything on the basketball floor. This right here, I like to refer to it as my KD build. You know what I'm saying? Like, can do everything, bro. It's just unstoppable, bro. And if y'all just want to check out my badges real quick, I have max badges, man. This is usually what I just rock with right here. Um, with my max badges, I got Heat Seeker, Posterizer Hall of Fame, Fearless Finisher Gold, Slithery Gold um, for my shooting. I have Blinders Hall of Fame, Hot Shot Hall of Fame, Catch and Shoot Gold, Dead Eye, Deep Threes. Hot Zone Hunter, which I can get on Hall of Fame at 99, so that will change. I will make that Hall of Fame and then have Green Machine Silver. For my playmaking, um, I switch this up sometimes when I go from the park and rec. Um, usually, I'll put on Special Delivery. I might take it off sometimes if my teammates run it, but I have Quick First Step and Special Hall of Fame. Bullet Passer handles for days and tight handles gold. And tight handles, I also might change the Hall of Fame when I go to the rec. I play with it on gold in a park because I don't want to do no park handles when you have it on Hall of Fame. It makes you do park park dribble moves and stuff like that. Then I have Unpluckable on Silver and, of course, Bell Out on Bronze. Gotta have Bell Out, man. And for my defense and rebounding, Ankle Braces, Clamps, Intimidator, Rebound Chaser, Rim, All Hall of Fame, Off Ball Pest, Silver, and Box, and Chase Down Bronze, bro. If I just want to check out my percentages real quick, you know what I'm saying? Not really up to par where I want to be this year, bro, but you know what I'm saying? I've been pretty, you know what I'm saying? I've been trying to do videos, and I've been trying to play, edit, record, you know, different type of stuff, so I haven't been playing as much as I want to. But, you know, this is how I'm coming right now, bro. I'm on, I'm like a .8 win percentage right now, almost 79.6. But I'm shooting .6 from the three, almost a .7 for the field goal. I have like 147 games played, which is nothing, bro. Honestly, that's nothing. Um, For the rec, I played 80 games. I have a .95 win percentage. I shoot .63 from the three and almost a .7 for the field goal. And that's pretty much how I'm coming, bro. I played three games of Pro-Am, but got lagged out of all of them. And the Pro-Am doesn't really work this year. So I really just played park and rec, man. And, you know what I'm saying, I hope to get these up really much higher and you know what i'm saying we about to go crazy this year bro but without further ado bro let me show y'all how to make this build bro so let's just go to the main menu bro and i'm gonna show you how to make kd jr you know what i'm saying so let's get straight into it bro so off rip just gonna go to the my career this is my build right here so we're gonna make another one new slot man all right so first things first bro the position once again is a power forward bro if you didn't know the six seven power forwards are the way this year bro they are the most op builds kind of like back in 2k20 when you had like play glasses post plays things like that these are the wave bro no cap so boom you got the power forward i'm going right handed and then for my jersey number as always man got to put that 22 on there then we're going to continue man then we're going to continue and there's a lot of ways 
you can mess up a bill this year, bro. Like, so like everything with the bill system this year, you have to know what you're doing. You got to do your research. You got to spend a lot of time here just messing around and trying to find the perfect build for you, but also a build that's good, bro, because everything even down to the order that you put your attributes in can mess up the build, but I'll show you guys that. But for my build, bro, I went six, seven, the lowest height that you can go at a power four, and I did the lowest weight. I did the lowest weight now yes you're gonna lose strength and you're gonna lose some other things but i did lowest weight so i can be as fast as possible bro and this is really like i said a kd build bro so i'm really like a big guard you know what i'm saying i'm tall but i'm the lowest weight so i'm really just like a like a big ass play shot bro let's be real like you know what i'm saying kd is like a seven foot curry bro but for the wingspan and i debated on this one so much bro but I decided to go max wingspan with a seven foot four inch wingspan, bro. Those are tremendously long arms for this height, bro. And the reason I went with longest arms is because as you can see, I can still get a 84 three point shot off rip. And with the amount of shooting badges that I get, which is like 22 shooting badges, bro, I better be able to green with 22 shooting badges with an 84 three point shot. You know what I'm saying? So I decided to go max arms and max arms, you know, I've been, I've been talking about it since I don't know how long, bro. It's I always go max arms, bro, because it helps you with so much. It helps you with cutting off the lames when you have your arms out, you know, steals, deflections, getting rebounds, blocking shots, just wreaking havoc on the floor, bro. I always like to go max arms on any build that I make. So I went seven foot four wingspan, and for my body shape, I wanted to be the biggest body possible, you know what I'm saying? Especially when I took my shirt off at Superstar. So I just want to make them built, you know what I'm saying? And actually, the weight this year actually affects your body shape you see if i go max he actually gets a little you know what i'm saying a little bigger you know what i'm saying but i i went weight i went uh minimum i mean so 210 67 210 74 with the built body shape that's what i went now we're going to continue to the attributes the actual potential attributes bro and like i said the order that you do this year is huge bro you can definitely mess up a bill so let me show you what i did first when i started creating my bill so i'm like boom okay of course i want my three max all right so first check this out first so boom nothing's nothing's put in any categories right now so boom if i max out my three all right as you can see my midi just went up to 59 and i didn't do it went up by itself as you can see boom i max out my three my midi went up to 59 by itself now if i do the same thing with my midi my three-pointer did not move. You see what I'm saying? So you have to watch the order that you do stuff in. You see how I'm at a 39 overall right now out of 95. If I do my midi, it's gonna go to a 35. So the order that you put attributes in, bro, it's gonna affect how your build can come out. So check this out. What I did was I went three-pointer first, then midi. This is this is the first time. This is how, how I messed up. So I'm like, okay, nine. Then I just put some about here. Then I did my driving dunk. And it's, it's the same thing with driving dunk. It's going to take up your layup. If you do your layup, it's not going to move your driving dunk. But really, it makes sense, bro. Because if you can make a three-pointer, you know what I'm saying? If, look, look, look. If you can make a three-pointer, you should be able to make a midi. You know what I'm saying? If you can do a driving dunk, you should be able to do a driving layup. So it actually makes sense that it moves it up for you. But this is what I did. So boom, I just did something like this. I'm just gonna go pretty quick. I did something like this. I was like, all right, standing dunk, boom, boom, boom. Um, And this actually, this actually damn near my exact same build, just in a different order. So I'm about to do it real quick. So boom, I had this like 22, Um, did my ball handle speed with ball. Got this to like a 20. And these are all my exact badge numbers. This is just not the order that I did it in. Then I did it perimeter. I did my block. I did my defensive, which is going to raise my offensive. Then I took that up. And then I did my physicals last. Now I'm going to do my speed. Now I'm doing my acceleration and my vertical. And I can only get my stamp to a 77. And I can only put these last attributes in steel or strength. So boom. This is how I did my first build. You know what I'm saying? These are my exact badge count numbers, my exact build, but these are not the attributes that I have. You see what I'm saying? Like, so this is how I messed up my first build. Now, let me show you, which this is still a pretty decent build, but you can maximize your build by going in a certain order and things of that nature, bro. So let me take all this off and show you the correct way to make this build. You know what I'm saying? So I'm take off all this off real quick. And the reason that, the way that I made my build and my boy helped me out, shout out Drop, um, 
but I started with my physicals first. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why that maximizes your build potential, but that's what I did. You see what I'm saying? I started with my physicals first. So off rip, I'm just gonna go speed, max that out, max out my acceleration, max out my vertical, actually leave my vertical on 91. I never go above 91 on any physicals because you get the plus four at 99, it's gonna take to a uh, 95. Then you get the plus four, which is not really a plus four for attributes with the Gatorade, but it's like the four stars and they basically work as a plus one. So I'm not going over anything over a 91 for my physicals. So boom, max out everything but my strength. I'm not worried about strength this year. Like I said, this is a big guard. And trust me, I can still defend centers and bang with centers and ag with them, all that. So boom, we got our physicals done. Now we're gonna go to our three-point shooting, which I feel is one of our most important categories. So boom, we're gonna go to our three, which of course before our midi, cause it's gonna take our midi up. Then we're gonna take our midi up and then we're gonna take our free throw up until we get 22. But as you can see, you can take some back, save some points and add it till we get 22 right there only a 60 overall now we're going to go to finishing we're going to do our driving dunk of course it's going to take up our driving layup because if you can do a dunk you can do a layup then we're going to do our layup max that out and then a big thing is close shot this year and i debated this a lot thought about this a lot should i do close shot or standing dunk and if you didn't know close shot um includes standing layups this year bro but i decided just to go with standing dunk this year because and I, I was on some stuff like, if I can do a standing dunk, bro, I better be able to make a standing layup. But really the way I play, bro, I'm not gonna be taking any under the realm uh, standing layups anyway. I would rather kick that out to my teammate and reset. Um, you know what I'm saying? Of course, if I picked up the ball and I had to, I would have to, but honestly, I played this game and you don't really, you don't really need close shot like that, bro. And just the way I play, I don't take them anyway. So I didn't do any close shot this year. I, I went with standing dunk instead, which is a very great move uh, for me. I do a lot of good standing dunks on centers, all that. So I went with maxed out standing dunk, but actually we're gonna take this down a little bit so we can get 14. So we just save one point, put that back at 14. Now we're gonna go to our playmaking. I'm gonna max out my ball handle. Uh, was a ball handle or speed with ball? Okay, I think it's speed with ball. Yeah, yeah. All right, so do the speed with ball first. And then, of course, it's going to take your ball handle. Then you're going to do your ball handle. And then you're going to do your pass accuracy and take this up to, I did 20. You're just going to have a 72 pass accuracy. Now you're going to move on to your defense, bro. No interior defense for this build, bro. As you, as you guys already know, interior defense is trash, bro. Everybody's getting contacted on. It's very hard to defend the paint. Um, and their 2K Labs did a test at the beginning of the year where, you know, they tested a 95 interior defense compared to a 25 and there was no difference. I don't know if 2K has made a patch on that. I know that they have and they fixed it a little bit, but things are still getting contacted on, bro. So I'm not worried about interior defense at all. Really how you can test this year in the paint is with your block attribute. So that's what I focus on, but we're gonna do maxed out perimeter defense. We're going to do max out block and we're going to max out our defensive rebound it's going to take our offense up to a 70 and we're just going to continue and max that one out until we get 24 we're going to save a couple points we're actually not going to max it out we're going to save a couple and put that at 24 and we have a couple left so this is these are my badges right here 14 22 20 and 24 and then we're still at a 94 overall and we can put a couple of these left so we can either put it on standing dunk we can put it on our free throw, our pass accuracy, or our offensive rebound, or our vertical or stand. I'm not doing those because of that 91. But honestly, at this point, you're not going to get any badges out of these anymore, I don't think. So these are just personal preference. So me, I'm just going to probably go, just probably offensive rebound, finish maxing that out. Um, and then we actually have one left we can put somewhere. And we can do steel, strength, or stam uh let's just go stand bro why not oh uh, we can put one there we still have one left see you saying so the order bro it's like the order that you choose bro so boom put that on stand then let's just go still why not bro so now we're at a 95 out of 95 and now my build is pretty much 
almost complete here with the attributes and stuff like that just gotta choose my takes so this is how we're coming man 14 22 20 and 24 that's 80 potential badge points bro and if you hit legend of course that's plus 40 so that's 120 potential badge points bro that's a lot of badges bro and like i said this build can do everything contact green from anywhere speed boost can defend every position has great physicals like you can't beat this build bro this build is pure demigod like can do everything on the floor you know what i'm saying this is a demigod year bro demigods are back so i would expect everyone pretty much everyone to make this build bro why not it's the wave but look you get two takeovers this year of course primary and secondary and i've used pretty much all of these bro and i did mess up one thing bro but this is this is my build so if you want to make this build go ahead and make it but what you can do is go back and raise your free throw up and you have to play with it to find where it's at i think it's like in the low 80s but if you raise your free throw up to the low 80s and you just sacrifice anywhere else you want to then you can get the shot creating grand badge and that is by far one of the most op takeovers this year bro i wish i could get that shot creating take but i can't so i'm gonna have to settle for these sharp takes bro which is fine with me and for my primary i'm gonna do spot up precision you know what i'm saying i chose that over limitless because it can work anywhere on the floor all you have to do is be stationary. it can work from the mid-range the corner as to where limitless is only way be out past the three-point arc you know what i'm saying so we're gonna go with spot up for our primary and for our secondary i played around with this a lot i tried extreme clamps you know what i'm saying i don't really see nothing huge with that like I don't really see nothing huge with that. I still had on Hall of Fame clamps, Hall of Fame ankle braces, and they can still be getting blow buys and all type of stuff, bro. Um, I tried all the slashing badges, easy blow buys, damn near doesn't work. Uh, finishing moves, no need. You get a contact every play anyway. So I just doubled up and went with limitless range, you know what I'm saying? KD shit, man. We pull it from wherever, bro. You know what I'm saying? So this is my build, bro. And of course, when you complete it, you get the title scoring machine bro you get shades of jason tatum okay pascal okay zion you know what i'm saying but y'all know this really that kd build man yeah man so that's that's really it and if y'all want let me let me just show y'all the badges real quick um spot up limitless range complete let me just show y'all the badges real quick where i would put them um y'all pretty much i already saw but let me show y'all again one time test build test build hey these loading times are immaculate all right so check it out 99 boom all right, so 14, 22, 20, and 24, bro. So off rip, gotta have Posterizer Hall of Fame, bro. You want the maximum amount of contacts. Um, Slithery Hall of Fame, you can either go Slithery Hall of Fame, Fearless Finisher Hall of Fame. Then you got two left. You can either put these on Rise Up to help with the standings, which I did at one point. Or you can even go Heat Seeker Silver. Heat Seeker is pretty good. Not as good as Hot Shot, but it's gonna help with your take. Or you could take down Fearless one, drop Slithery one, and then raise up your Heat Seeker to Hall of Fame, which is I did. You know, so all of your dunks, they really help your takeover a lot. So this is my bad setup for my finishing. Right here, if you go to shooting, off rip, give me uh, Deep Threes Gold, give me Hot Zone Hunter Hall of Fame, and this of course is at 99. Um, give me Hot Shot Hall of Fame, must have right there. Give me blinders hall of fame bro blinders is like one of the best shooting badges this year give me dead eye gold uh give me ch catch and shoot gold can really get away with this on bronze but just give me gold for right now um let's see give me green machine and oh green machine is only gonna go to see at this actually at, th at this stage i'll probably go silver and silver you know what i'm saying because what i have right now at 98 is i don't get hot zone hunter until 99 overall on my build right now so i just went there but sacrifice that put hot zone hunter on hall of fame could really go bronze and gold or silver and silver it's really whatever you do i'll probably go bronze and gold or maybe silver and silver i'm just gonna say silver and silver for right now but this is how it would come on my shooting badges bro you know what i'm saying fire bro you know what i'm saying uh, all right here we go playmaking bro playmaking off rip quick first step hall of fame gotta have it man um i do tight handles hall of fame in the wreck do not do hall of fame tight handles in a park you are going to do those park drill moves and they're super annoying bro uh if you're going to the park just drop that down to gold um uh, of course gotta have bell out on bronze bro bullet passer is an amazing badge this year as well i keep this at maximum which i can only get it on gold in the hall of fame but you know what i'm saying we get it how we get it handles for days 
um handles for days really good i don't really put it on hall of fame because i don't do that much dribbling you know what i'm saying i just do enough dribbling to create a play for myself or my teammates um i don't really do too much over dribbling bro that messes up the offense a lot i like to me and my when me in the game run bro we we move that thing you know what I'm saying? chino hills warriors we keep that thing moving all around you know what i'm saying um but that's how we're coming then we got what how much how much left uh put my unpluckable on probably like silver and then the rest i put on ankle breaker i think that's the rest uh no we have one more so put ankle i max on my ankle breaker definitely see a lot of ankle breakers this year and if i'm in the wreck i'll throw it on tight handles um if i'm in the park i might just go put this back on unpluckable you know what i'm saying so this is how we would come if we were in the park right here if i was in a wreck probably just do something like this you feel me um oh special of course special and then you know if i'm the only one who has enough playmaker to run special at the time and if you didn't know special delivery if you have a hall of fame and if you have a hall of fame and one of your teammates has like hot shot hall of fame or heat seeker especially hot shot bro you can literally get team takeover with one pass from me to my teammate who has hot shot get team takeover with one shot bro literally like we do it all the time it's crazy um but yeah special delivery very good badge as well so if i need to put this on i'll boom pop that on hall of fame and then i actually have to sacrifice ankle breaker on this but ankle breaks are not really like one of those it's like you know what i'm saying get fancy type of badge so i can sacrifice on that and i'll put special delivery on hall of fame leave tight handles on gold and leave my pluck on silver so that's how it come on the playmaking and then last but certainly not least man y'all know i love to play that defense and get boards bro off rip we're gonna have box bronze i like just to keep this on bronze so i can unlock those box out animations and really a lot of badges are very good on bronze and silver bro because they just unlock certain animations that you need such as box they unlock those box out ones chase down and unlocks those chase down animations but off rip bro clamps hall of fame we're locking up everything on the perimeter bro with seven four arms come on bro we're locking up everything give me hall of fame intimidator bro like we're contesting everything give me give me hall of fame rebound bro we want all the boards same for rip protector bro we're blocking everything just a beast defensive build right here bro i actually do ankle braces probably hall of fame or gold i've been playing with it i rock them hall of fame though bro and i ain't gonna lie i still be getting stunned sometimes bro i don't know how i don't really know how much of a good bash this is but i've been playing with it on hall of fame and I still get stunned sometimes, so I actually might take it down in the future. But I'm rock with a Hall of Fame for right now. Gotta have Chase down on, bro. And I like off-ball pests a lot this year, bro. It helps you stay glued to your man. And the, 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 the lobs this year are insane, so you do not want to get backdoored or it's a bucket every time. But this is usually how I come right here, bro. I might drop ankle breakers down and do off-ball silver. But this is usually what my defense and rebounding badges look like right here, bro. So this is how we're coming, man. You know what I'm saying? Got some very good defensive badges. Got some very good playmaking. Got some very good shooting badges. And some very good finishing badges, bro. And this is just a nice all-around build. 14, 22, 20, and 24, bro. You can't beat it, man. You know what I'm saying? But that's pretty much it for this video, man. This is my official build for next gen. This is the build that I'm going to be grinding on. You know what I'm saying? I already got his max badges. 99 should be here like probably today i'll hit 99 so my build's ready to go man right now i'm just grinding for rep chasing legend man and just putting out content for you guys i'm doing streams every day man hope y'all boys can tune into those and but yeah man that's pretty much it for this video man i hope you enjoyed it found it helpful man if you did smash that like button for your boy man you know what i'm saying it really helps out the channel a lot getting viewed notice all those night things man so if you could do that for me i really appreciate it and if you're new man if this is your first time watching one of my videos consider hitting that subscribe button bro and turn on post notifications so you never miss another banger man i'm going crazy all 2021 long bro and i'm saying 2k21 long bro mirror game we're going crazy bro y'all know what the business is man but that's pretty much it man hope you enjoyed this video it's your boys i'm here and i'm out bro gang